This morning as we come to the table, I wanted to bring you some thoughts from the 10th chapter of Hebrews. Um, this uh, divine dialogue here we have from our Savior. He's, then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. And by the which will we are sanctified by the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Uh, this is something that we are partaking of this morning as we come to the table. We are being separated more fully from those who have no care for these things in the world. As we come to this table this morning, as we, we partake of the bread and of the cup, this, 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 this morning is the communion of the blood of Christ. This really does happen here this morning at this table. As we come to this table, even we are even more, to a, a greater degree, experiencing justification this morning. Uh, we, we are able to see more fully what it means to have peace with God. Um, we, we have a greater sense this morning Christ, what it means for Christ to own us, that with his precious lifeblood, he paid the price. He paid what was required. Uh, he paid the debt that we owed but we could not pay. Uh, in this light, it becomes more reasonable for us not to live for ourselves but to live for him who died for us. For, to him who loved us and who gave himself for us. Uh, we are also more aware of the fact that Jesus is our propitiation, that he is our covering, uh, the covering for our sins, that we cannot do anything without him, that if it were not for him, that, that in the presence of God we would find nothing but wrath, that in the, his fellowship we have actually been more sanctified. Even this morning we, we are more aware of this, the, this more full sanctification that we have unto our God that we have been called to, that, that our very existence find its purpose in living for our God and participating in his will this morning. Now, as it concerns our text, I saw something this last week in this that I can't believe I've never seen it. It's, it's so uh, um, obvious, but the way the apostle says it here in this text, it shows how superior the new is to the old, that every priest standeth daily. And he offers oftentimes the same sacrifices, but Jesus offered one sacrifice forever and sat down. Uh, it's just such a good, it's such a great uh, um, uh, contrast there. That, that, that priest, he stands up. It's, it's, it just sounds laborious, doesn't it? He stands up and offers oftentimes, but Jesus offered once and sat down. He has perfected forever them that are sanctified. Uh, those who are ex accepted in the beloved, those who have come unto God by Christ, Jesus, he will by no means cast out. See, he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Uh, this is the power of this affirmation, that those throughout the ages who are made, made perfect are only made perfect by means of Christ and Christ alone. Uh, this is a declaration of the carrying out of the will of God in Christ Jesus. He talks about it like it has already happened because it is that sure. It reminds me of something that he says in Romans 8. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. You see the language in this. He's just, he's certain. He talks about it as if it has already happened. The reason why he can talk about it this way is just, it's the, this is the will of God being carried out. And so this morning, as, as, as we come to this table and we come to partake of the bread and the cup of this table, we do this in, the, in this, this same manner. We do this till he come. We know that just as surely as God promised to, to, to send his son to, to pay the price for our sins, we know that he will send his son again, that he might receive us again unto himself. Let's pray this morning, brother.